Hey, what's up YouTube friends and family? It's Cousin Ryan and I've got a fun little 3D printing project here to share with you. Uh, this is the Bottle Opener Cap Gun by 3 Daddy on Thingiverse. Item will be linked down in the description and I'll give you a quick demonstration of how this works and then I'll show you kind of how I put it together. Um, anyway, it's pretty straightforward. Choose your favorite beverage. This it happens to be Henry Weinhardt's Root Beer. Um, cock the gun, there's a little slide here pull it back you can feel it kind of lock into place and then just hook it on the bottle take a sip do not point the gun at anybody's face or anything but when you're ready you just point and shoot shut up you don't think Ryan is famous cousin Ryan you gotta... here we've got the partially assembled bottle opener cap gun um, First thing I did, I bought a stack of these little magnets on Amazon. If I remember when I upload this, I will link those items down in the description. They're just real tiny. Had to buy them in bulk. Oop, they, they hung onto my screwdriver. They're super, super strong, but they're just these little tiny, like they come in stacks and you can see they're really super, oh my gosh, they're strong. But they almost look like little watch batteries and there's a slot in the gun here you can see and that's when you pry the bottle cap off it'll stick the magnet will hold the bottle cap in there um, and then it just like I said it just slides into that little groove right there and then here's the other little mechanism so there's a rubber band with two knots first you want to tie the knot on one end and fish it through there's a little slot in this uh, little mechanism here and I had to kind of come up with this funky little tool made out of a paper clip to fish the rubber band through and pull it and then you tie another little knot here and there's a groove in this half of the gun actually in both halves and if you can I'll, I'll get it in here and then I'll show you guys up close hopefully this will do the trick there's a little groove right there you can kind of see that the knot holds the rubber band in. see this is the piece that you pull back and then when you pull the trigger it lets it go okay and then on this other half here um, there's two ways of printing this out there was one where I think it's got a plastic pin that will operate the trigger you can see here there's this little arm here that acts as kind of a spring that pulls the trigger back um, this is printed though that so one of these screws I bought a whole box of these m3 screws as well this screw is actually the pivot for the trigger you can see it fits through right there um, and that's a little bit more durable, I think. So, uh, what else? Oh, the other thing, we're using a nickel. Um, I forget, I think this was designed over in the UK and I forget which uh, monetary valued coin they used, but it seems like for this uh, purpose here, uh, a nickel in the United States, a nickel works best. And it just fits in that slot there. It falls out pretty easy, but once the other half is on, I think it'll stick pretty well. So let's see if we can get our first screw in. I just want to make sure. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I used a thick rubber band, but I think the problem is, if you can see here, the rubber band tied in a knot is just too fat and it's off, it's got too much resistance in here. So I think what we're gonna do is take this all apart and put a skinnier rubber band in. So I'm gonna pause the camera while I do that. Um, so hang in there with me, I'll be right back. Okay, we've got a skinnier little rubber band in here now and I think that will do the trick. So I'm gonna place it in here. I'm hoping this will work now. Um, such a hard time not sure well you know we're gonna go ahead and just put the whole thing together I'm not sure why this is struggling so much to uh, 
slide smoothly through there. I'm going to put some twists in this rubber band to give it a little extra tension. Oh, and let's not forget the nickel. The nickel's got to go in too before we uh, assemble this completely. Okay, so we used, let's see, uh, M36s, one, two, three, and then we used M316s, one, two, three there, and then I forget, I think the one that went through the pin here was an M312, um, but it's locked and loaded. Got some Henry Weinhardt's root beer here. Oh, look at that, it's in there. It actually shoots pretty good. <laughs> Have you guys ever had Henry Weinhardt's? It's pretty good root beer. Anyway, that shot across the room probably six feet. Um, let me go get that and let's just see. I'm just curious to see how hard it'll hit uh, my hand. Actually, you know what? That went into a box of stuff. Give me a second and I'll be right back. Okay, I don't know where that other bottle cap went across the room there, but I found another one. We've got a just a regular thing on the porch outside that um, I'm gonna go ahead and load this in here. Whoops, oh, I loaded it too soon before I cocked the gun. Pull this back. Oh, one, one more thing too while, while I'm thinking of it. You gotta make sure when you place that little magnet disc in there that you really shove it in, otherwise this thing snags on it and it'll hang up. Um, you ready? That wasn't so bad. That really, that wasn't. I mean, I wouldn't go pointing this at anybody's face because it could really hurt, but it's not, it's not that bad at all. Anyway, I just thought this was something fun. It'd be a good, like, little weekend thing to print out and put together for the 4th of July or whatever. You're having a picnic and you got lots of beverages to open up and shoot the, shoot the bottle caps. Um, the only thing is, is coming up with the screws and then these little magnets that go in here, those do need to be ordered. So we might be cutting it a little close if you don't have those things already. But anyway, thanks for hanging out with me and enjoying the bottle opener cap gun. Hey, Rye, you really want a lot of stuff there. What'd that cost?